if the lone wanderer goes straight to Arafu and does not talk to Lucy West, he, she may not be able to convince Ian to leave the family later in the quest. If one decides to strike a deal with Vance and tells him to defend Arafu in return for blood packs, the lone wanderer can donate their blood packs for 15 caps each. If the player character convinces Ian to remain with the family, there may be only three options when telling Evan King about his fate, that Ian was not found, that he is dead, or that he has gone to live with Lucy. All three options are listed as lies in the dialogue box, but any of them work to complete the quest and reward XP and positive karma. If one chooses to complete the quest by giving Ian Lucy's letter, she will react very nonchalantly about what happened. She even says, I almost forgot about it. Even though if one earlier told her about her parents' death and missing brother, she worriedly said, I've got to know if he's still alive. If one leaves Ian with the family, the letter will still be in one's inventory, the letter cannot be given back to her, although if one speaks to her before completing the quest by speaking with Evan King, one can give Lucy some information as to Ian's fate. Upon leaving Ian with the family and finish the quest, one can still give Lucy's letter to Ian. He will like the letter, but he will not leave the family. Lucy will thank the player character. Killing any resident of Arafu will automatically fail the quest. Ian cannot actually go live with Lucy in Megaton. If one takes Lucy's note directly to the family's hideout without going to Arafu first, Robert will still let the player character in if they tell him they have a note for Ian from his sister despite the fact that one does not know Ian's whereabouts at this point in the plot. If one kills Vance and uses his password to open the door to Ian's meditation room, he is not even there. Talking with Vance can still provide access to the family's terminal and find out the true nature of the family. Also, the objective will be updated to find out what happened in Arafu. Once in Arafu, one will have an extra dialogue option with Evan King, but the quest proceeds as normal from this point. One can kill all members of the family, and then give the letter to Ian. He will still decide to leave, but upon returning to Arafu, the citizens will become hostile and the quest will be failed. If the player kills any member of the family after Ian makes his decision, the inhabitants of Arafu will turn hostile even though no one from the town was directly attacked or killed. This is due to the fact that Arafu and the family become one faction after Ian makes his decision, rather than after the deal is struck between Evan and Vance. If the player attacks the family instead of talking to them initially, this can be a problem if Robert is not killed before speaking with Ian. When one leaves, Robert will be hostile but if the player character kills him, the quest will be failed. If one kills all residents of Arafu, the quest will also fail. One can work around this problem by simply sneaking past Robert without killing him. If one returns to Lucy after discovering the bodies of her parents but before visiting the family, one will be able to tell her about the deaths of her parents, and she will ask one to find out what happened to Ian. If the player character chooses not to tell her before speaking to Ian, they will never get to tell her, and upon returning to her later one will only be able to tell her that the letter has been delivered to Ian. If the player character does tell her that her parents are dead, they will be rewarded later with an additional string of dialogue, following the string in which she says she almost forgot about the letter, in which she thanks the player character properly. If one completes the quest in favor of Ian returning to Arafu using the speech check and Vance defending Arafu while using blood packs, one can deliver the message to Ian at his parents' home after completing the quest by speaking with King.